Now, breaking news from CBS 17 News. The Wake County Sheriff's Office is mourning the loss of a deputy who was killed in the line of duty. Good evening. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Russ Bowen. Deputy Ned Bird was shot multiple times late last night on a rural stretch of road about a mile outside of Raleigh city limits. Tonight, the suspect still on the run. We do have team coverage this evening, but we start with CBS 17's Steve Sprasia. He brings us up to date on the investigation and looks at what the deputy was doing in that area. Steve. Well, the shooting scene is right behind me. If you take a look, you can see just how desolate it was. A command post marking the area of Battle Bridge Road where it happened. Very rural out here. Empty fields, as you can see, on both sides of the crime scene. The sheriff says there have been numerous calls in the area that the deputy had been investigating, but he says that Deputy Ned Bird was not responding to anything specific on Battle Bridge Road around 11 last night. I don't believe that it was a traffic stop. There would have been a procedure involved in that, which would clearly indicate that it was a traffic stop. The sheriff believes the deputy was on routine patrol with his canine and left his cruiser to investigate something which didn't look right on that desolate road. Was the dog able to in any way try and protect him? Uh, no. Uh, we're not able to. Well, the dog was not because the dog was still inside the vehicle, which tells me and tells us that uh, what he got out on uh, apparently to him at that time didn't appear to be any sort of a threat or a need for his partner. The sheriff says whatever happened occurred so quickly the deputy was not able to radio for help. However, he says camera footage from the deputy's cruiser is providing them with solid leads in the search for who may be responsible for Deputy Bird's murder. Now, one thing we do know is that deputies have spent an extensive amount of time processing the scene. Some 15 hours after the shooting happened, they are still there. I understand at one point they brought in cadets from the Wake County Police Academy to try and help out. Also, we understand that the airspace over the scene was restricted to drones. And just an hour or so ago, we saw the state police helicopter making some low 400-foot passes over that scene. Obviously, the investigation and the search for who was responsible continues. Reporting live, I'm Steve Spray. CBS 17 News. Absolutely heartbreaking, Steve. So we're also learning more about who Deputy Bird was as a person. CBS 17's Gilat Malamed is live outside the Justice Center after speaking with people who knew Bird outside of law enforcement. And Gilat, I can't imagine what emotion they must be going through. Yeah, heartbroken is one word a close friend of Deputy Ned Bird used to describe today. He said Bird worked so hard to become a deputy here. He was a member of the department for more than 10 years. Outside of being a Wake County canine deputy, Bill Dowie says his friend was a big presence in the jiu-jitsu and CrossFit community. Dowie first met Bird through jiu-jitsu about two decades ago. He says Bird was competitive but would always take the time to help others. He says jiu-jitsu was a big part of Bird's life and being a deputy was his passion. Ned wasn't someone that you just knew. Um, as long as I've known Ned, he's, he's been, uh, he thinks it was himself last most of the time. Uh, most of his free time was done helping people. Bird first joined the sheriff's office in 2009 as a detention officer. Then in 2017, he started basic law enforcement training school and was sworn in as a deputy sheriff in March of 2018. He was 48 years old. And tonight at 6, we'll share more of our conversation with that close friend of Bird's. Live in Raleigh, Gilat Malamed, CBS 17 News.